everybody, this is Adam from Cow TV. Today, I'm here with the drummer of Thrice. This is Riley, how you doing? I'm good. Right, good. That's good. So, this is, your tour with Brand New and Me Without You. How's it going so far? It's been awesome. <laughs> As you can tell. Uh, <laughs> it's been awesome. Um, the thing I've been saying in other interviews is that um, usually on a tour it takes you a couple weeks to feel comfortable with everybody. And the first day of this tour, Everybody hit it off really well. We knew brand new before, but to me without you guys are awesome, really nice people. We went out, we went, we've gone bowling twice, we hang out after shows, and it's just like a big touring family instead of like three separate camps. So it makes touring a lot more fun when everybody's getting along. That's awesome. Um, now you just released the Alchemy Index, Volumes 1 and 2, Fire and Water. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Thank you. They're really great. Thank you. Um, it's a concept album in that you're doing four albums, Earth, Wind, Water, and Fire. What was it like working with the fact that it's a concept album? Um, it totally changed the writing and recording approach, and uh, it definitely changed Dustin's lyrical approach, um, because we wanted each EP to be themed um, both sonically and lyrically um, to the element that it's uh, representing. And um, so it made us, we wrote with that element in mind when we were writing, like, for fire, you know, something that's aggressive, heavy, um, destructive sounding, I guess, uh, water, um, more dark and uh, electronic and kind of flowing, um, air was more ambient and kind of uh, uplifting and earth is just really stripped down and kind of nitty gritty acoustic stuff. And so it changed the writing process that way. Recording, we recorded each EP as much, you know, on its own as possible. We jumped back and forth a few times, but and then lyrically, all Dustin's lyrics are kind of speaking um, about that element or drawing from that element. Now, did you ever feel that there are any limitations because you're making albums strictly about one idea? Um, in a way, but since we've never done it before, it, like done a concept record and. and Done, um, experimented with sounds the way we did this time around. It was actually really free. Whereas, like with a, a prior record, if we had this cool um, keyboard part or uh, acoustic guitar line. We try to figure out how to turn that into something that sounds a little more pricey, I guess. Um, so this time it's like, oh, hey, we have this cool keyboard riff or um, electronic drum beat. Let's let this song be uh, totally synthetic and, and electronic, whereas in the past it'd be like trying to find a way to make the electronic drums work on a real drum kit and trying to find a way to turn the keyboard line into a guitar line. So it was freeing, but with parameters. Limitations. So, yeah, it was just an interesting challenge this time around and, and made the whole process um, a lot more exciting than just doing another record. Now, why did you decide to do a concept album, or at least with Earth, Wind, Water, and Fire? Um, really just to try something try different to sure um, and because every record that we've made we've kind of gone in and it's like okay we need 12 songs or 11 songs and um, I don't know it's just something to change up the entire process um, and as far as choosing the elements it was just something that popped into Dustin's head um, I think we were touring in, in a van back east and he woke up in the middle of the night and had this crazy idea and it, he said it wouldn't leave his head and um, since it didn't leave his head he just decided to bring it up one day and we thought it would be cool um, just to try out. And, um, with Visu, our last record, um, there was kind of like a nautical water ocean kind of theme to it. Um, it sounds like Red Sky and Atlantic. Um, so we kind of knew what we wanted to do, but we wanted to expand that into other elements and other influences. So just just a fun challenge and, and something to change things up and keep ourselves interested in stuff. That's awesome. So uh, when can we expect to see Volumes 3 and 4? Uh, we're hoping sooner rather than later. Um, probably March or April, I would guess. Um, we've, we've been going back and forth. like regretting the fact that we didn't put it all out at once and, uh, and then feeling good about it. But, uh, I, don't know, I think once the, the second half of the project comes out, uh, people will get an, even a better understanding of the entire project. 
uh, but we wanted people to be able to take tiny doses of it. So you get fire and water first, and then you get air and earth later. And hopefully it works. I just wish now it's all finished. I mean, I wish everybody could just have the whole thing yeah. and, and sit down with it. So. Well, thank you very much for this interview. Yeah. It's, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you and uh, if Thrice is coming through your town, be sure to stop by and check them out on their tour with Brand New. And be sure to pick up the Alchemy Index Volumes 1 and 2, Fire and Water, which is in all record stores now.